So for those who requested, here's a beautiful question on alpha, beta, and gamma. Now the first thing in these questions, you want to set up your binomial and expand it. There's a little foundational step that you have to do all the time. Now if it was quadratic, you stop here, alpha and gamma. Now remember, this would be, this would be x is equal to alpha, which is one root. When you put it equal to zero, and x is equal to beta, but there's another root. So you put in x minus gamma. Expand, and you're going to get this. Now, I advise all students to memorize this so you can do this very quickly in exams. Next up, you write the equation where a, b, c, and d are the coefficients, but we don't want a, so you're going to divide by a, and you'll end up with this. Now, you can compare uno and dos and compare the coefficients. You see what I have them nicely highlighted there that blue, that green, that red? We need to use that. So this foundational step, just memorize this. I advise you to write it 10, 20 times. Just get this really quick and neat, no problems. And know to do it, whether it's quadratic or cubic roots you are dealing with. So from those two things, when you compare the coefficients, you get alpha, the sum. This is your sum. This is the sum of the product. Multiplying two at a time, everybody get a touch of everybody. Alpha get beta, alpha get gamma. Beta get gamma. So, you know, it's really nice there. And this is a product of the roots as well. You want to pay attention to the signs because here we have negative B and A. Here we have C and A. And here we have negative B and A. And that was so because if you watched here, this is negative and this is negative. But this one here is positive. So, great. So, now we're ready to just finish off the other bit of the question. So, we're bringing the question into play. We divide by 2 because we're going to get rid of that a so we can compare the coefficients really nicely. So when we divide by 2, we have those coefficients that we want. Coefficient of x squared, coefficient of x, coefficient of x is equal to 0. Um, x is equal to 0, sorry. And we just line that up with our sum or sum of the products and our product. Now you need to practice this inner question to make sure you have the hang of it. Even if you understand what I just quickly speak through here, to practice it in a question, maybe even do over the same question without watching to make sure you can um, repeat this. And obviously, one question is not practice, right? Find lots of questions in your textbook. Quickly looking at the entire workflow of this. Once again, this is your foundational step that you'll always do, regardless of the question. Here, you're bringing the question that you want into play, you divide by a, and then you equate this with these parts here, keeping in mind that you're dealing with. B on A, that goes there. C on A, that goes there. D on A goes there. Now, there's a negative, there's a positive, and there's a negative, right? Negative, positive, negative. Because of the signs when you expand this. And that's it. This question is worth three marks. Chabi is singing in the background there. I think he might be um, serenade, being serenaded by a three year old. So, now is a good time to introduce you to the next part of this beautiful question. Generally, what they usually do is ask to find a new equation, integer coefficients, so we want integer for the coefficients, and they give you some new roots. This is after you found the sum product, sum of the product of those old roots. They're giving you some new roots here. So this is simple, simple. Or by the way, they give you some useful expansions that will save us some time because you know we not we don't want to fight about expand this and, and thing, right? Thing, and sure that. But you should know how to expand this by the way. Well, let's see what we do. So the first thing you want to establish is the sum of the roots. The new roots. These are the new roots. Now when you add this, remember you're going with LCM here. And then you say, remember the primary school thing? This into this will give you this, so you multiply by this and you get that. Yeah, that's what we do for each one of these. Um, it's better to express it this way because you know we know this. We know well this we we have we don't know this yet, but but they gave us something for that, didn't they? They gave us this for that, which is we know this, this, and this from before. So we just rearrange that a little bit. The numerator that is to look like this using the little um, expansion that they gave us there rearranged so this is expressed as this instead I keep saying this and that and thing the reason I say that is because I don't really want to say 
alpha, beta plus beta, um, gamma plus alpha, gamma, all to be squared. I really don't see that every time, right? But you catch it at a highlight thing so you can follow along. Now, the, the algebra here is where you need to um, get accustomed to speeding up once you understand the whole week flow. And this, we substitute here the values because it's now in our position, or you can substitute using what we knew from in part one of the question. And we get 19 over 9. Sweet. Now, let's do the sum of the product of the roots taking two at a time, the pairs. Now, this is this by that, because remember the reason the new roots and this by that. By the way, you can express this as just 1 over alpha squared beta squared. And we, where we see this before, we see this already. But we're going to use, um, we're going to bring all these fractions here together. Let's bring them together under the 1 banner, 1 denominator, alpha squared, beta squared, gamma squared. And now all, we left, all that's left for us to do is to see how much time this can go into that and multiply by 1. You'll realize you get the individuals on top. Sweet, we know what this is, and this is just alpha, beta, all to be square, is square, is square, there's the symbol, squared symbol. And we substitute this using the next little hint they gave us in the question, they actually gave us that. So nice of them, so nice of them, where is it, where is it? Right, right here. So this substitution is ideal, it's beautiful for us because we know these values from before. So when we make that substitution, we're ready to hook with Ramco gas. So we make that substitution there. Sorry, that's not it. We make the substitution here and get a quarter. Mm, all right, I just let my calculator eat up that. Get a quarter there. You can verify these arithmetic stuff because strange things have been happening with me arithmetic recently. Um, the last one, the product of the roots is a little easier because we just multiply it. So in the end, you'll end up with alpha, beta, gamma, to be squared. We know what that is. Substitute. So just to clarify, to bring the whole thing together, this is what we have. This is what we have. We have our sum of our roots there. We have our product of our roots here, sum of the product of the roots, two at a time. You know it is, right? The alpha, we can do the alpha by the gamma, and the beta by the alpha. And what we didn't do yet, beta by alpha, beta by gamma. And we can do it however you want, where you want. Everybody needs to get in touch with each other. And then you have the raw product of the roots here. So, you substitute the values which we just got, um, and this is your answer. Well, this is not really the answer because they wanted integers for the coefficients, and we know from our earlier maths if we have 9, 4, 9 here, and what they get like this flat integer, we need to multiply by the LCM of all the denominators and the fractions. So we're going to multiply by 36, which is the LCM of 9 and 4. So hopefully you followed along with this question. This is the answer, this is your final answer here. And if you want another question to do, you can try this question here. The very next video that I'm going to do on my channel is going to be answering this question. This is an easier question because there's no gamma involved, it's just alpha and beta. This is a question that can come in ad maths or even pure maths if you're feeling a little less testy. So, um, that is it for the, you know, that is it for the uh, pure maths people. Are you not entertained? Alpha, beta, and gamma. It's very important, very important. We are in November and December. It's very important that you lay down the foundations in all the theory so you understand logically what you need to do for everything in your pure maths. If you want to say everything November and December, you're going to get that into your long term, medium to long term memory so that when we start them lives, when you start lives, when we start those videos right before exam, you'll be recalling stuff and not learning stuff brand new. Or even if you're doing a little crash revision and thing before exam, you'll be just regurgitating and bringing up stuff. This is critical. Somebody's going to listen to that. Somebody's going to listen to that and it's going to change your life and they're going to hit the merit list and they're going to message me back. Somebody is not going to listen to that and it's going to kick themselves come exam time. So if you reach the end of the video, welcome to the end of the video. I should call, call the people who reach the end of the video. End of video squad. Welcome to the <laughs> welcome to the end of video squad. Congratulations, keep up the grind. Blessings. Let me know in the comments what else in pure maths, what else in keep you want me to do, and I'll see if I can get it. But the next video is going to be on this question here. You can try that now, like now. Take out your pen, paper, try that now. I'm going to end this with that. Whoa.